hope you're keeping well so i've talked about what diabetes is how it is the risk factor to cancer and the types of diabetes and today i just wanted to talk about pre-diabetes and what it means so as part of preventing and being proactive and looking after ourselves the advice is to do regular blood checks the first one is fasting blood sugar test so the basic blood test so this test will show the fasting blood sugar level it is done while fasting that's overnight fast you haven't had anything the next morning and where the blood level is 99 mg or lower then it is normal it's, it is considered as normal when the fasting blood sugar level is between 100 and 125 that's when someone is considered as being pre-diabetic the third scenario is where the fasting blood sugar level is 126 mg or above this is considered as being diabetic so this is a simple blood test that you can do just to know where you stand with blood sugar and with diabetic so if it's pre-diabetic it's okay it can be reversed but you need to make some lifestyle changes just reverse that trend so the other test that is done is called the a1c test it is a test that is done over a period of three months and an average of that when the a1c test result is 5.7 and below that's normal when the a1c test result is between 5.7 and 6.4 that is described as pre-diabetes and when the a1c test 6. is 6.5 and over is considered as being diabetic so this is a simple test as well but it will give an indication of whether someone is at risk of developing um, diabetics or already has or if someone is normal but this will help you know where you stand and help allow you take action to protect yourself and if one is pre-diabetic nothing to worry about you have a lot of time to reverse but you just really need to pay attention to your nutrition and to exercise more and eat foods that are really rich in fiber a lot of vegetable and reduce drastically white foods like the bread the potato the processed food the biscuits the crepes and all of the junk food that is readily available to us now and eat more of home cooked food yeah and you'll be able to reverse the trend also for someone that's already diabetic same advice eat healthy eat the right foods rich in fiber more vegetable more greens more home cooked food less processed food less food that you buy from outside because you don't know what they put in it you need to take control be in control and know what you're eating and make sure you're giving your body the right nutrition if you combine this with um, exercise you'll be able to improve improve the blood sugar reading so for pre-diabetic do regular blood checks just to make sure um, you're making progress with reversing as well yeah? and a lot of people are actually pre-diabetic and they don't know it because they haven't done checks what now happens is it progresses to full diabetes and by that time you're already dealing with the disease so this this test will provide information about your blood glucose and let you know if you're at risk it gives you time to just change your lifestyle your nutrition so that you can reverse the trend yeah lifestyle changes like fasting helps exercise helps a lot being very active that burns the glucose in the system as you go being active you're using energy and also nutrition fiber rich foods nuts avoid white foods high carb food white potato opt for cooked food home cooked food cut out the processed food the biscuit the bread and the crepes and the chocolates and all of that and eat very healthy rich in green vegetable rich in fiber whole grains food in their natural state cooked from scratch and cut out processed food because you don't know what's been added to them and a lot of them contain sugar anyway and sugar is again a culprit here it is one of the factors that really pushes those blood glucose very high that's what i wanted to share today Thanks for watching and look after yourself. God bless you.